happy Friday. I decided I'm going to do a read aloud today. I'm going to read a story that I actually wrote and illustrated and this uh, children's book was actually published back in November of 2018. It's a true story and it's written about my cousin Adam Page. He's a three-time Paralympic gold medalist born with spina bifida. I hope you guys enjoy it. The story I'm going to be reading today is called Adam's Way, written and illustrated by April L. Ratter. Adam's Way is a story about a young boy born with spina bifida, determined to be a hockey player, defies the odds against his disability, and bullying in this true story of courage, determination, and success. This is a story of how that young boy overcame obstacles, strived for success, and accomplished the goals he set out to achieve. Adam's Way is a book that will not only teach children about never giving up, but adults as well. Our read aloud today is called Adam's Way, written and illustrated by April L. Bradford. Adam was a little boy who had big dreams. He dreamed of one day becoming a hockey player. From the moment Adam attended his first hockey game, he knew what he wanted to do. Adam wanted to play hockey. But Adam was somewhat different than the players he watched that day. Adam was born with spina bifida, a birth defect in which the spinal cord fails to develop properly. Spina bifida made it difficult for Adam to walk, let alone skate like the hockey players do. Adam, however, refused to give up his dream. He was determined to find a way to play his favorite sport. Adam's parents were also determined to help their son achieve his goals and realize his dream. They chose not to give up. There just has to be a way, said Adam's mom. But until they found an answer, Adam continued about his daily life. He went to school just like everyone else. He worked hard, even when he was bullied because of his differences. Adam chose not to let the words or actions of others bring him down, no matter what. While Adam attended high school, an amazing opportunity arose. Adam tried out for the USA men's national sled hockey team and made it. He was the youngest player ever picked at the age of 15. The national team is a sled hockey team for those who are disabled or who cannot use their legs well enough to skate on the ice. Adam was overjoyed by this news and he could not wait to be part of the team. Finally, he thought to himself, my dream is starting to come true. Not long after, Adam played his first hockey game with the USA men's national team on a sled with not one but two sticks. The joy he felt was like nothing he had ever experienced before. Adam grew stronger and stronger. The more he practiced, the better he became. Just like you boys and girls, the more you practice at your schoolwork, the more things that you practice at home, the better you become. Three years later, Adam was presented with another amazing opportunity. He was given the chance to try out for the Paralympic team. As Adam and his family anxiously waited to hear whether he made the cut, Adam continued to practice and improve his skills. One day, Adam came home from the school to the best news he could have hoped for. He was going to the Paralympics. Adam was ecstatic. He had come so far and would now be competing in his first ever Paralympic Games at just 18 years old. Adam had found his way, took action, and made his dream become a reality. You boys and girls can do that too. In 2010, Team USA went up against Japan in the Vancouver Paralympic Games and won. They took home the gold. Adam came home with his very own real gold medal. What an achievement, he thought to himself. Look how far I've come. Adam soon graduated high school and went on to college, where he kept his dream close to his heart. He majored in sports management, so he could continue to be a sled hockey player as he got older. 
Over the next several years, Adam continued to play sled hockey. He traveled around the world and he met other sled hockey teams. He even returned to compete again in the Paralympic Games and won his second gold medal against South Korea. Today, Adam continues to live his best life and achieve his goals. He inspires all of us to never give up on our dreams, even if they seem impossible. And that's the end of our story, boys and girls. This is a little read up here at the end about Adam. Remember I told you in the beginning, this is a true story about a young boy who was inspiring to live out his dream to be a hockey player even when everyone told him he couldn't. And actually, while I was writing this story, Adam was actually in Penyeongchang, South Korea, competing for his third time in the Paralympic Games to win his third gold medal. He was a member of the U.S. National Sled Hockey Team. He played in six International Paralympic Committee Sled Hockey Championships and 10 World Sled Hockey Challenge tournaments. He helped Team USA win in 2018, and he has three Paralympic gold medals. And there's a picture of him. And as you guys know, here's a little bit about me. If you don't know me, there I am. I am the author and the illustrator of this book. This is my very first children's book, so something new I've never done before. I worked with um, a local publishing company named uh, Imagine We Publishers. I'm currently an art teacher for the Lackawanna City School District. And I am looking forward to creating some more children's books in the future. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the read aloud today of my book, Adam's Way. Thank you so much for listening. But don't go away yet. There's more. Hi, boys and girls. It's Adam Page here. I'm a three-time Paralympic gold medalist for Team USA in the sport of sled hockey. And I'm just here to um, answer some questions that I usually get from you guys. And since um, you know we're not able to be in person, I thought I would just pick some of the best um, questions that I usually get, and uh, hopefully, you know, give you a little insight about what sled hockey is and some of the things that I do. First question I usually get is how many gold medals do I have? And I uh, told you in the intro that I have three gold medals, um, but I got them in 2010 from Vancouver, uh, British Columbia, which is in Canada. The second one I got was in 2014, and that was in Sochi, Russia, way far away. And um, the other one was in 2018 in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Next question I get a lot is what is sled hockey and since I'm not able to be there in person um, basically sled hockey is a sport that's just like hockey except we're sitting down in a sled uh, that we're strapped into and we all have some sort of physical disability and we have two sticks instead of one like you see anybody that plays in the NHL on two feet they have skates and one stick Now, because I play sled hockey, um, I am a little bit different than you boys and girls and some of you. Um, I do get around sometimes in a wheelchair and um, sometimes with crutches I'll walk with. And um, I was born with no feeling from the shins down at birth. And that's why I play sled hockey. And I play with other men and women uh, just like myself. and. Uh, that have all sorts of disabilities and um, you know we're still playing hockey and the sport we love just in a different way um, so just because you have a disability doesn't necessarily mean 
you know, we're totally different. We're still doing the things that, you know, any regular uh, kid would do. I played on the U.S. team for about 12 years, and my position was forward. Um, I loved playing uh, offense and always liked shooting the puck and, and scoring uh, goals is my favorite part. And, uh, you know, I was always a offensive type player and um, never really played uh, defense much. Now, another question I get a lot are, are, what are the rules? Since, you know, we are in sleds and the game looks a little bit different, um, not much is really different, um, except you just can't take the front of your sled and hit somebody at a 90 degree angle that makes a T, the letter T, and um, you can't like hit the side of them like with the front of your sled. That's really the, the only difference. Um, it's still just as fast paced as regular hockey and you know, we, we hit, um, it's full contact, and the other difference is we're sitting lower to the ground, so we're hitting into the boards instead of the glass, like if you've seen some of the NHL players or NHL games, um, you know, when they get hit, they're getting hit into the glass, which um, a little is a little bit more give, have a little bit more give to it. Now, I stopped playing sled hockey about two years ago now. I'm on the national team. I still play. We have a local team here in Buffalo, sponsored by the Buffalo Sabres. And so I just play for fun, but it's given me the opportunity to do some other things that I love to do. Um, I've been skiing uh, for about 12, 13 years, uh, just as long as I've been playing um, sled hockey for the national team. And um, it's something I love to do to get away from hockey. and. I actually want to start competing in races and try to make uh, the Paralympics in skiing now. Um, other things that I do, I started a wheelchair lacrosse team. If you guys have ever watched the Buffalo Bandits play, um, you know, we're in wheelchairs and it's just as physical as the Bandits and uh, it's a lot of fun to play. And then also I love doing public speaking. Um, so I'm doing public speaking a little bit more or trying to. and. Um, to talk to boys and girls like you. And also I have my own foundation that I'm working for that allows um, other kids to have the opportunity to play adaptive sports. So since I have more time on my hands, I'm doing a lot more with that as well. Thanks boys and girls for listening. And I really hope you enjoyed uh, some of the questions that I answered. And to give you a little bit more insight about what sled hockey is and what I do, and uh, maybe eventually I can come in and meet, meet all of you in person. Um, thanks, bye-bye.